Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk, with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hello, hello. Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break. Look where we are. We're so excited to have our first show after our summer hiatus on location here at Angels and Red Barn. And look who we have as our special guest. We have them trapped. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm not going stuck. anywhere. No, you I, aren't. <laughs> I've been craving to be on this show for years. We, you know, we could have had you on many it times. Had, it many had time. to be organic. It had to be organic. You had to be. wait for us to yeah, invite you. Exactly. Now, I know this, this individual needs no introduction. Anybody in, in Hopkinton knows who this however is. However, Thank you. Jim Cousins, director of Station, HK, Manager. Station Manager of HCAM. And it has been a long time in this role, right? Yeah, 13 years. Wow. Seriously? Yeah. 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 Before wow. it was HCAM. Yeah. You know, actually, before it was HCAM, I was a volunteer. Oh, okay. I was okay. doing uh, school committee meetings, and I was producing all about Hopkinton. Oh, my gosh. And then when the town took over the station, and they changed the name from Hop TV to HCAM, um, they were looking for a station manager, and I was fortunate enough to get the position. Well, the town is fortunate to have you in that oh, position, thanks. really. HCAM is beloved. We love it. And we've learned so much from you. I, I see you sort of as our producer mentor, mm -hmm. honestly. You know, um, you've reassured us so much around doing this show, mm -hmm. and uh, you make it so comfortable, and your team is awesome, really. Thank it's, you. Because, really, oh, yeah. you know, my the thing that I always say is that if it's not fun, then you're not here. Yeah. You know, it's all volunteer organization. And I know you guys won't believe this, but I'm not naturally comfortable doing this. Mm -hmm. you know, the whole idea, there's always a little bit of a deep breath every morning that we tape where I just have to, okay, and it has become very easy for me, mm -hmm. and, and, and thanks to you guys, you know, mm -hmm. you, Mike, and everybody else who has worked on the show, Courtney in the past, and, and it really has become an easy process for me because this is not natural. Yeah. Well, this was your crazy idea. Yes, it was. <laughs> 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 again. So and I was this <laughs> exclamation point. I, I had taken like workshops with my son and uh, my daughter's taken them at HCAM and been a volunteer with HCAM and seen different shows grow organically and then I was watching what happened on, was going on with the Real Housewives page and like, you know what, there's a show here mm -hmm. and, you know, kind of what's going on in the community, what's going on, what women are chatting about in the community and that's how, you know, the show kind of organically came and I think the neat thing is when we started the show and now we're almost into our fourth year we're th three and a half plus it. years through yeah. this wow. and um, Red Barn um, started with us originally Sponsor. yeah That's they right. actually sponsored all our coffee and everything else yeah. until you know eventually like it became, it, it became <laughs> easier just to have a Keurig on site but um, you know that this place um, has such deep roots in Hopkinton you know it's the Doherty family has been Red Barn, yes. Has mm -hmm. um, had angels for, now this is their second or third generation of family in town, to family in Holliston. So um, it's kind of neat to, um, you know, do our second ever on location shot, but do it here at some place right. where we actually s had some roots with the show. Yeah. Well, so actually, I have to correct. We've had three. This will be the third, third one. The third location. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just you know, but we're going to do more of them, isn't that? I mean, that's well, that's plan. part of what mm -hmm. Jim came up with. Yeah. So, yeah. so I want you to share about. So back to let's go back a little bit though. We were starting about your history. Mm hmm And so 13 years ago, you took over the role when it moved to HKM. Yep. Uh, and how many shows did you have back then? And how many shows? You know, do a little, little recap on sure. each yeah. camp. Oh, he likes that. Um, <laughs> but, gosh, I, can't, I haven't said this in such a long time, Mike. When, um, when, when the cable company handed the station over to us, there were less than I think five active volunteers, and I was one of them. Wow. And so we were doing all about Hopkinton. We were doing school committee and government the meetings. The kids on the trampoline still doing it. <laughs> Wait till you. And they have a huge yes. oh, yeah, you can, That's what I used to put they my kids did. a nap with. Yeah. Oh, is that right? Well, put that on and they would just. All right, so as a quick aside, <laughs> okay. Mike's doing a new show called From the Vault, where he's bringing he's bring back, and it. guess what the first episode is? So, I love it. Yes, yeah. Okay. So from there, you know, it really, uh, the biggest thing is a, is a, was a mindset change. Because when the cable company runs it, they are like, what do we have to do and nothing else? Mm -hmm. And when it's a nonprofit community organization, we are like, 
how do we make it successful? So traditionally, the cable companies would say, anybody who wants to come to us, we'll train them, and they can make their own shows, and that's what they do. But we started saying, what does the community want to see? Right? Because these people will get trained by us, but this is our community who can see us. Yeah. So we started you know, producing and creating shows that we thought people would like to see. And that actually created a lot of energy for more people coming in. I mean, the, yeah. the Wake Up and Smell the Poetry show has been on for a long time. Yes. Is the oh, longest it's, running I think, show? 12, 12 years. Wow. Yeah. 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 Wow. And is that the longest running show? Um, Senior Upbeat was really okay. long. With Mary yeah. McLeod. And All About Hawk, well, All About Hawk is really long, too. Yeah. And, but that had kind of a break in the middle of it. So I would say it's really close. Mary McLeod is like such a sweetheart. We, yeah, just, we can't even her. love her anymore. And Physician's Focus is mm -hmm. a popular one. That's been, is that still yes. on? It's been on for many yes. years Yes, and well. that uh, just has? crested 10 years. Wow. But that's uh, actually we did 150 different. episodes. That's wow. a little bit different because yeah. everything else is about Hoppington and Physician Focus isn't. Right. right. right and right, it's right. brought in by Mass Medical Society. Well, not brought in because we created it. Okay. okay. Uh, Bruce, I actually saw Bruce Carlin at the town hall and I was like, Bruce, you know, I'd like to do a doctor talk show and you should be the guy to do it. Yeah. And that's what started it. Oh, wow. it was, the first so couple you... episodes were called One More Thing. And then <laughs> and then Bruce was like, I belong to the Mass Medical Society and we yeah. should do this, you know, wow. bigger. So now it goes out to two and a half million households Seriously? across right. Massachusetts. I love it. And you yeah. burn it and send it out to stations all over the place. Yeah. So yeah. we put it on a, on a website so other towns like and other stations outside of Massachusetts can access it. Ooh. So if you add in outside of Massachusetts, it's over four million. Wow. Uh, wow. Households that receive it. Are any other shows able to be seen outside of Hopkinton? Well, everything that we do, if you're a Verizon customer, mm -hmm. there's, I think, four or five other communities, like Holliston and Part of Ashland. Ashland. Okay. I know yeah. my dad has seen yeah. our show from yes. his house. Oh, wow. And I think Franklin, some yeah. pieces of Franklin have seen it. Yeah. Plus, you do a lot on uh, YouTube. And yep. of course, on the H Camp site, right. so you can find things that way. You know, and today's day and age, you have to, right? Yeah, you have to. Yeah. Everybody needs it on demand. They need to be yeah. able to watch it when they want to watch it. So yes, we uh, we do that too. But what a resource! I mean, I certainly never would have done anything like this if, if not for this community resource and Darlene's idea. idea. <laughs> Although way back when, I, I did a little bit with Darlene the show Darlene. Business Matters. <laughs> yes. And yep. um, I remember being really interested in promoting the businesses in town and got to do a couple of shows, one being a behind the scenes tour of Colella's. You yeah. know, in terms of, you know, the number of people working there and what an operation that store was, more right. than what you saw. That was fun. And that's continued with Tim Kilduff yeah. as the host. Yeah. So that's he, awesome. He just yeah. had on the um, Ted from um, Starline Brewery. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So lots it's of great cool. shows. It's yeah. so very awesome cool. to have you and be here chatting <laughs> with us. So, so do you have a, um, like, worst story? And then the best story you have, like well, the, the two right, yes. spectrums. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So the very so when, when I first graduated from college with broadcasting and film, I was oh, I was going to be the next Steven Spielberg, but God. I didn't want to move to California. It's not too late. I know. <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking around, uh, seeing what I can get, and I got a, a job, part-time production assistant in the Westboro Access Studio. Oh. So within six months, I realized my passion is community information, so I, that's why I've never left Access okay. TV. Yeah. My first live show, I am on the set, and I lean back and my chair falls off <gasps> falls off the stage. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's worth a nightmare, so right? I reached, I grab, like push off, the flats are flying around, but <laughs> got back up and had to do the show. So, <laughs> and the best off? one, the yeah. best one, I, there are many, there are many. I, I just love, I just love, you know, helping people connect to the power of television. Yeah. So um, I do a, I do a after school TV club at the middle school, oh, awesome. and I do it at the high school now too. Yeah. And, and you know what, these are the kids that like I really go for. You know, one time um, Alan Keller was like, you know, this kid who was like so vibrant on your show, we were worried, we were worried, you know? And it's like he found his space. And I'm like, that's what I do this for. I do this for when like we're sitting in the hallway doing a show and some kid walks by and says, oh, I know that kid. I star him on HMS today. <laughs> so, I love that. That's so and awesome. And that's the other kind of sister channel HCAM has is that it's yeah. HCAM Ed. Right. Ooh. And so it's a different channel altogether that people right. don't realize. Exactly. And while this that. preceded you because it was currently being run at the high school, mm -hmm. but the whole program of teaching and all that, one of my oldest son's classmates actually went into went to BU, studied film, yeah. and he is now getting his master's 
or he might have just finished it in London, but he has been filming for Nat Geo. He did um, Boston's Finest, mm -hmm. um, Top Chef. You know, he's yeah. been production and, and yeah <laughs> and and i think it's so cool yeah. so what but, you're doing now yeah. you're potentially creating the next gen so of creating the since, steven spielberg since you <laughs> mentioned that and the high school program would you like a scoop yeah Say that again. Uh, yeah. Like scoop. 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 Well, that's scoop. what we're here so, so they, they had a few teachers at the high school and the tv program hadn't really gone anywhere yes. mm -hmm. and so through this long convoluted story which I'm not going to get into they have a new high school teacher who is running a class there <gasps> now good wow and will they coordinate with you guys because he is me <laughs> <laughs> well if you don't coordinate that's a problem <laughs> I know wow. one of my goals is to is to you know get HCAM more connected with the high school community and what better way wow. than to teach a class. I had yeah. to go through you the testing. I got my license. Be certified teacher. I am a certified yeah. Massachusetts teacher. Cheers. Well, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> thank Ooh, you. That's a great, and you'll be starting, awesome. when do you start the, in this fall? I start Monday. Ah. And both, yeah. my, both my kids actually went through awesome. the film and television um, at the studio. At the at no. not, not just at the studio, but they took it at high, high school. school. Yeah. And um, while the transition, my kids are three grades apart. What happened between the first one and the second one was pretty huge, and a benefit because of H Cam. And that is that we saw H Cam upgrade the studio at our place. And we, you know, we went HD, we got robotic cameras, all this stuff. Yeah. Well, the old studio went to the high school and they donated the whole thing. Awesome. So they, and they haven't been using it, but that's oh, about that's to change. change. Whoa. Yeah, I mean, I, when, my, when, my, when, my son, <laughs> when my son was taking it, the majority of it was, you know, take clips on your phone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly, you know. And With like, all those beautiful cameras and things around it, they were taking clips on their phone. Right. So, so now you've got... You're going to be teaching. I got a class. Yeah, and the philosophy is the same. You know, it's. I went to, uh, I think it was in Watertown, and I was looking at a program there, and there was a girl who was like editing, and I said, How do you like this class? She says, It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Why is it awesome? Tell me why. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm using Adobe Premiere, which professionals use, and I know that my product is going on my local TV channel, so it's not just me and my class, my community right. is seeing it. Wow. So that's what this class is going to be all about, is production. And it's a, and it's a resume builder mm -hmm. for these kids, yeah. too. Yeah. That really yeah. For that you, though, wonderful. for going out there and seeking out other programs that exist, because I, so often I see people recreating the wheel. Yeah. You have your best practices. You take what somebody else is doing. You add it in. Perfect. Right. right. Yeah, yeah, I always say, you know, I don't have all the best ideas. I just want the best that right. we can do. Wow. That's, so that's why you're here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we enjoy doing it, you know, we, uh, you make us so comfortable. You know, I'm always amazed that we do this without any kind of retakes or anything, and we just jump right yeah. in, and it is what it is. So. You get what you get. You get what you get. <laughs> so we're glad you guys are watching, and we have fun doing it, and it's so awesome to have now, you with us. I know you don't live in town now. Mm-hmm. Oh, since when? Uh, about two years ago. I know. I'm and sure. um, your kids are in high school? I got two in college, and I got one who she's going to be a junior this year. Wow. wow. So tell us your kids' names, ages, what they're up to. It's so Andrew is 22, mm -hmm. and he is going to UMass Lowell for physics. Oh, wow. wow. Okay. That stuff is, like, it's insane. <laughs> I said, you know, Andrew, once you get your doctorate, they're going to take you in the back room. They're going to say, this is all fake. We just make this stuff up. It's crazy. <laughs> I had a son who got a degree in yeah. physics. And just like, yeah, it's yeah. Beyond, beyond. Right, right. So and you were in group. Um, Noah, my middle child, is 20 and mm -hmm. uh, going into sophomore year at Mass Art. Oh, That's cool. my artist okay. in the family, oh, okay. which I'll tell you is very insulting because nobody recognizes me. I'm like, I'm an artist. Yes. I create you TV. Are. No, yeah. Dad. No, you're not. Aww. And then my youngest, Rachel, is 16. Okay. And she's probably going to go for psychology, we think. Oh, cool. Yeah, very which cool. is really cool. funny because my wife graduated with a major in psychology. Yeah. Um, and I had a minor in psychology. Oh, wow. See, you know, it all flows, yeah. you know, from yeah. here. So where do you live? What town did you go uh, to? Upton. Actually, oh, you, you, right could, you could almost throw a stone and hit it from here. I didn't know. Yep, yeah, right on Walnut Street. You know, we were we had to get out of the place that we were in Hockington, yeah. and um, we wanted like really quiet street. Yeah, yeah. I got a barn in my backyard. Oh, nice. Fun. Yeah. No, it's not nice because my 16 year old is like, "Can we have a pony? <laughs> Can we get some sheep?" <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, like, well, of course, let's get no. the barn. But you're still in the neighborhood. This is exactly. also close. Yeah. I met great. a woman up in Maine that 
is giving away three miniature ponies if you want them. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I think those are, are you, gone. Are you listening? <laughs> <laughs> I a lot of us are popular. Uh, people like, people yeah. like them. Yeah. Awesome. Hilarious. Yeah. Hilarious. So, so what's going on in town? Oh, boy. Well, uh, Jolene's got what's going on in town. I just have kind of the scoop of some of the hot topics on the page. Yeah. And, of course, it is back to school. Yeah. And there's a lot of questions around um, both mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. behavior of your students, um, questions about resources, both buses and babysitters. Yes. And, and we always ask, it's okay to celebrate um, who your class or teachers are, but it's a small community, so just keep it all positive. And many of the teachers live right in town. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Keep it all positive. Excuse me. Uh, uh, he's, he oh, forgot oh, to turn his phone off. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a rookie mistake. Uh, rookie. Yeah, <laughs> the new guy. <laughs> the new guy. <laughs> We're live. Yes. Oh my On God. location. But, um, you know, uh, and this is also happening, but it's been hitting the page a lot, is um, September 1st is a charity uh, football scrimmage. Yes. Um, the game's free, but they'll be going around and they're promoting two scholarships. I'm gonna butcher the first name. The first one, DeRochers? Yeah, What's on DeRochers? It's for Shane and, 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 and Eric Canty. Right. So Brad they would have both been seniors this year. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Sadly. So, yeah, it's, um, it's, for, it's for two ch children that were lost in the 2018 class. Yes. Um, Shane DeRochers, who we passed away um, during his eighth grade year, he was hit by a car in Hayden Row, and Brad Candy, who just died just a few so, a few weeks right. ago, so um, and so the the class of 2018 um, for both is, schools, those two students are are, yeah, are both in the class yeah, um, is the going class. in in a kind of a sober mo somber mode, and you know. Um, my daughter happens to be in the class of 2018, and a lot of things are going to be dedicated throughout the year, from what I'm hearing. Um, but I mean, they've already started. I mean. You already know the high school has already kind of kicked off yeah. some stuff with Unite freshman orientation. You know, class ID pictures have been done. Yeah. The um, today um, the robotics and STEM teams are all um, at the high school from like eight to three, mm -hmm. uh, practicing and setting up the room with um, their teacher. And um, so this football game, I mean, yeah. well, want everybody to come out and see the game and support the um, fundraiser that's going on that will be going on at the game. Um, to uh, provide September scholarship 1st. dollars for yep. um, and we'll the post it on the show. Yep. Yeah. People are still trying to squeeze in a little bit of vacay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm still seeing posts about, you know, last minute cancellation on the Cape, you know, um, people trying to get those last beach days in. I'm going to hold on to it. I mean, I can't believe. You, well, know, you took off for a beach day last week. I did. I did. I you went down to, to Westport or something? I did. Horse Neck Beach. But oh, I'm, I'm I've never know. been. I keep driving past it. But we I've went with you been. last year, me and That's Melissa, right. the three exactly. of us went. Well, we need to try to, maybe we can, hey, location. Horse Neck yeah. Beach. We're going to get thumbs up for Mike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I did oh, a family wedding, wedding last week. That was, I can't say it was a vacation for me. It was yeah. a vacation for my family. Right. Oh, you were hosting a bunch of folks at your, at your spot on the Cape. I yeah. hosted on the Cape and then I hosted at a, a, a few bureau um, in New Haven. But I have but, to tell you, first time I've ever done that, but between Airbnb and VBRO, I have to tell you, that was a great way to go. Yeah. I had a really good experience. and. You know, if I had tried to pay for all those hotel rooms, oh. it was... You put and, people and, in and, houses. And yeah. then I had, you know, being a big family, I had all my cousins. I had my 92-year-old mom there, so they all wanted to see her. Because this might be the last time some of them yeah. get to see her. Right. And we had huge brunch, 35 of us, mm -hmm. and there's no way... My mom was one of seven, the baby, so I have okay. a lot of cousins. <laughs> <laughs> and they now have children, and they have children, so they were great, great <laughs> nieces and nephews. There. So it was a herd. Yeah. But, but no way I could have done that in a hotel. Or at a restaurant, it, was, it wouldn't have been as comfortable. This that's, was perfect. That's what's great about summering in New England. So we do our Martha's Vineyard thing. So I was down there for about three weeks, and even though we're renting, but same thing. We were able to bring family there, and... Uh, you know, I think that's traditional New England. Be mm -hmm. at the beach, be somewhere. And, you and, just, and you've been doing the same just thing got in back Maine. From, yeah. yeah. Now you took holidays somewhere too, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, we had a big family vacation this year. We went to Grand Teton and Yellowstone. <gasps> oh, oh wow. wow. 
I was actually kind of nervous. I was like, wait a minute, 10 days? You got mountains, you got you got trees. We got when that stuff around. Awesome. That was my first time. But it was and awesome. Oh, it was awesome. You could spend weeks in Yellowstone yeah. alone yeah. and Grand Teton. Yeah. Tell us about it. What, what well, yeah. Where is Grand Teton? It's, it's connected. It's like it's like a half an hour, 45 minutes away, but it's really small compared to Yellowstone. It's a little bit south, and I think to the east, but I'm not sure. Do you know how big Yellowstone is? No, just massive. It's the size of an... Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and Rhode Island combined. Wow. wow. Oh, New and, England. And, and, right. and, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Um, it's huge. Yeah. So, so tell us, what well, did you love? Well, we saw everything. We saw a grizzly bear. We saw oh. a black bear. What? I have to admit, I never thought moose were real because yeah. I'd never seen one. I but now I have to admit they're you real. <laughs> but they can't walk because oh, I saw the moose legs. sitting down. I didn't see him walking. Oh, oh, oh uh, you're saying that. Yeah, we saw a bald eagle. Um, and then, like, all the crazy, the crazy, like, uh, sulfur pits and oh, stuff. Oh, did that you see the geyser? Oh, did my God. We, yeah. Oh, Not did, only okay. did we see um, Old Faithful, yeah. but there was this other this monstrous one that, as we walked up to it, it went off within a half an hour. And wow. it, it comes up, like, every 14 days or something like that. Wow. So no, we were Old really Faithful lucky. Old Faithful is regular. Then these yeah. other ones, yeah. you know, you just have to get lucky. I've never been out that part yeah. of the country at all, yeah. so. It's, uh... It's it's really it's just like strange. It's like a different landscape. Did you drive yeah. there? Or? No, we flew out there okay. and then we rented a car. And well, whose idea was it to go there? My wife's. Okay. She is the, she is the planner extraordinaire. Oh, our lucky family. you! Yeah. yeah. No, it's great. Oh, good. Like, Schedules so everything. Have it? They really did. They oh, really and all an it, amazingly, all three of them did. Because usually <laughs> yeah. we get one, one that loves it, one doesn't care, and one hates, hates it. it. Right. And I've been watching um, an adventure on Facebook of two local families that have been in Montana for two weeks, and they've been doing mm. glamping, and they've been in this heart. Yeah. And, wow. And, uh, and when you see the pictures, I mean, it's like they have a queen size bed, a feather top, that and all is that. Glamping. And then stuff. It's very glamour crazy. camping. <laughs> and, uh, That's what they call it. Yeah, and when I, you mentioned bear, there was one spotted yesterday in Ashland. Really? Right. Another, wow. Another one, yeah, wow. over by Shore Road. Yeah, we had the bear. And um, the person got a picture yeah. out their kitchen yeah. window, and um, it this wasn't a cub, this was a bear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a little scary. That's crazy. And there was a moose in Westboro, like what? recently, like with. I don't know it's if it was this past summer or the summer rotary. before. It's probably stuck that stupid rotary. I just can't believe it. I hate rotaries. All we had recently, and I haven't seen it, I've just been smelling as a skunk. Oh, you had the skunk. Yeah. Well, I had the skunk down and here. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's yeah. a skunk running around Lake Maspinac, and, and we had uh, a, a, a glancing off of my dog, so I've been scrubbing her. It been, hasn't been a direct hit, but yeah. it's still stinky. Well, quiet as it's kept, Martha's Vineyard has a lot of skunks. In fact, I mean, well, I, I don't think it's swim. You know, I, yeah, there's no natural predator for skunks there. In fact, when I go, I bring mothballs and sprinkle them all Does around that really the reservoir. Yeah, because I don't ever have them around, but other people do, and you see them. I mean, we've lived in Hopkinton for 20 years. I've never seen a skunk on our property. Wow. In 20 years. Now, we live in the woods. Me, yeah. So, you know. I haven't either right. until, and haven't seen so it, but I've been smelling it this year. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and I'm just back from Maine. My car smells like bait. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I hear that my father's freezer up in Maine smells like bait, so Aww. I have to get up there and clean that. But, um, you know, a lot of things happening even this weekend with um, yes. What's going Hot on? Acoustics is playing um, tomorrow yeah, night at Firefly. Come join us. And, um, and party, Acoustics. party. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever been? Yes. You and your wife would love it. No. Okay, good. <laughs> it's so much fun. Yeah. Fireflies. What else, D? Um, <laughs> kids go back on Wednesday, but there's um, Farmer's Market still running. For a few more weeks, it's but running on some... the concerts? Concerts are over. Concerts are over. over. Okay. And, you know, and last night, um, I'm part of the Center School Reuse Committee. Yeah. So we had our first oh, meeting. Yeah. Okay. I actually nominated Ken Weissman to be chair. He got vice chair. And um, past Chief Flannery will be chair, which is great to have two people who have done so much in the so community. community. And, and, um, both of them. You know, yeah. Yeah. and um, yeah. it's going to be a long haul because we realize things like budgets and stuff like that. So, but, um, is, um, you know, and... Um, Jennifer Devlin is a liaison for the school committee, and she's very confident that that school is opening next fall. Wow. So the marathon school is coming. The library, yeah, the, the library, library closes on September first. Get your oh, books yeah, out. And um, a shout out to, to the and a shout out to their gala, which will be on October twenty eighth. Um, we'll be posting more details on it. And correct, congrats oh. to the new H, uh, library director. Yes, yeah. uh, Heather B um, Blackman. Yes, who's the yep. alum of my alma mater. Yeah. Um, also, uh, coming up is Family Day, Hopkinton Family Day. On the 16th. Yes. On the 16th. And, and, and we are so proud as our HKM to be supporters of Family Day. Is HKM doing fun with it? Or what's uh, yeah, HKM, it's going to look like this. 
Gonna have the setup right there. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. I'm excited that RHH we get is sponsoring the, the staging the and the um, yes. and, and the and um, sound. Poly Arts is also same happening day? that same. day. Yeah. And the week before is Live for Evan. Live right. for Evan. And we'll talk more about that in a week. Run. So. Yeah. Yep. That in a week we'll be talking about that. I'm trying to get myself back into running form. I had to take a break. So hopefully I'll be doing it soon. All right. And uh, running the 5K. Well, this was but, so fun. Um, it was awesome. Thank yeah. you for having me. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for being yeah. with us. All right. And Mike, thanks for all of your work to have us here so successfully on location. Thanks, thanks for watching. We did it. Bye. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get an $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. Hi, I'm Tim Kilduff, and this is Business Matters. Let's talk a little bit about the history. I mean, uh, you were born into something pretty special, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. The shop is a, is a safe haven for a lot of people, young and old. Business Matters is HCAM's show focusing not only on businesses in Hopkinton, but more importantly, the people who run and manage those businesses. It's diving driving time and we got a great Western for you today. Diving Driving is a new program featuring the HCAM staff's favorite B movies. We hope you enjoy these treasured films of yesteryear. And even if we don't get paid, there ain't no job we trade. We're on a break and take the same on the Santa Fe. Go check in showtimes.